with the most um, interesting man walking the face of the planet. Hey, say Mike, Michael J. Thriller, Negro Spiritual, Mike talk a lot, OMG, One Man Gang, Jesus Christ, Lucifer, I'm, I'm in the building. And I'm Trooper Joe, and I'm here to keep it real for you. Shout out to and this is Truthy, and I'm here to keep it real in the real. <laughs> Shout out to the channel. And you can listen to more real stuff on Mass Appeal Radio. Mass Appeal Radio, the 5 o'clock show, man. Come no, you can tune in on Wednesdays to Archangel, yes, hosted by Trooper Joe. Wednesday? Mm -hmm. What time Wednesday? Three to four. Three to four. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, did you get the, did you get the archangel on the on the on the trunks? On no, the I didn't. Trunks? I didn't get the archangel on the trunks yet. Yeah, but we it's it, come. That was a big night. Well, the, you know the procedure fell apart. It was great fights, and everybody should have been there. Oh Yo, yeah, Lou Pedro. What's the shout out to nah, what's the shout out to what's the they got yeah. some, they got some talent. You know, that's your boy. That's your boy, little Jermaine. I don't know what it worked, man. But Jermaine is a monster, man. That's my people. The little little Olympian. The little standing kid. That's what I'm talking about. The Saint John, yeah, yeah, yeah. Main, yeah. main Venomies, man. Yo, yeah. he quick. But little Kendrick Saint John, yeah. right. let's go. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Kyrie, Kyrie too. Yeah, Kyrie. Yeah. Hey, so, so look, um, and I okay. think you will be on their clothing next time they fight. Don't yeah, you worry yes, about that. Okay, to uh, on the transition, right? So here, here's, uh, I'm still learning about this. I'm still a baby, and I don't really have a great understanding like some some other folks that I, that organize with, but. And, I, and, and I'm a humanist all day. Like, I'm for people, man. I'm for men, women, children. Um, I, I, poor. I like yeah, I'm for people, man. Um, like yeah, disabled. Uh, um, whatever, right? Space and so, uh, my bad, yeah, I eat. The, the, here's the thing, though, right? So, the, the, what I understand about trans is if it's, you know, for, for first off, right, um, I'm going to use plain terms. So, I apologize to the trans and quick community if I'm using wrong terms, but I'm going to use hetero terms, right? So for uh, if, if there's a woman who's born a woman, right, uh, born with a vagina and, and, and female organs, and those trans women, that, uh, that, that, to my understanding, they say that they've always felt like a man and, uh, in, in, a, in a woman's body and, and vice versa. And my immediate pushback on that is, first thing is, okay, if, if you want to be called uh, orange juice, I'm gonna call you orange juice, right? I'm like, I, I, I laugh at these. I don't laugh because it's really like, it's really sad. You see people who refuse to acknowledge these people, like they go out of their way to not acknowledge these people the way these people are saying. So you're telling me, hey, my name is Keith. I'm saying I'm going to call you New York. I'm gonna call you where I want to call you. Your mama name. Yeah, you say you. Everybody who I see you look like you. They name New York, so I'm gonna call you New York. New York. Now, I don't care what you say your name you're is. Right. I'm gonna call you what I want to call you, right? <laughs> and it's the craziest thing. You see people dig in on that, right? I'm gonna call you what I wanna call you, right? You'll never see me in nothing like that. But what I what I do do is they keep it a honey. I don't fully understand it, right? It, because there's no there's four men in this room, and I don't. I, I'm pretty sure none of us can tell you uh, can say, hey, this is a this is exactly what it feels like to be a man. There's no such thing, right? Like like we all experience. Life as a man differently. I have and, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as an inner man spirit. Like we all have this common spirit, and we know that this is man, and we know that every man on this planet has this spirit in. That does not exist. There's no. Furthermore, if you only lived in this life as a woman, right, and you never had something compared to or contrasted to, and say, yes, I lived as this, and I lived as this, and I know I'm this, then then how can you say that? Now, what makes sense to me is like. Based on what I've seen, that makes sense to me. What I know as a man, because look, like, and, and at the end of the day, none of us really know what a man or a woman is. You're born into this world, and from day one, you're taught hetero. You're, everything that you see is a man and a woman. On TV, in your house, uh, when, when you read, when you, when, you, when you walk in your community, everything that you see, for the most part, is man and woman. And you're taught, that, you're taught these norms. You're taught that a man acts like this, he behaves like this, he thinks like this. And, and same thing for a woman. So it went from day one, when you come out the womb, you're being conditioned and programmed to play your role as a, a man if you're born, a born with a penis and a, a woman if you're born with a vagina. So please explain to me, for any of my trans people out there listening, how can you tell me, uh, or how can I, how, how is it possible that you can be born as one thing, but say and know deeply that you're actually something else trapped in that body? And, that just uh, makes no sense. Shout out to listener Holly Cascade. She uh, she put a comment, and I guess it, it goes right to what, what Mike is talking about. She says, "Hey, with love, and since you're in there, I want you to know that it's important 
it's more accepted to say transgender people than transgenders. Terminology changes often and has nothing to do with what's in your heart. But it's important to refer to people as they like to be called. Wait, so wait, so so, we, we, so what's up? What's, say, thank you, Holly, again. So, so we, we cast that again? She's saying <laughs> terminology changes often. Okay. It has nothing to do with what's in your heart. So, okay. And, but it's important to refer to people as what they want to be called. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, so, I mean, yeah. Important. But, so, but I'm asking, but I'm asking about how how can you t how is a, a a person born with a vagina or a person with born with a penis going to unequivocally say I'm a woman in a man's body or I'm a man in a woman's body when you have no I, there's no way to 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 qualify that. And they go true with the social. Go ahead. Oh, I I don't have any scientific backing, brother. I just got my own opinion. Voice of the voices. <laughs> Well, it's not voice of voice, it's the mind. It's, it's mind. I think that, that where the, where the, it, the um, problem starts to come in is, is once the, the children start to develop and they get out of it. You ever notice kids, they could be 10 kids in a circle, mm -hmm. but they're playing by themselves. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and then, you know. I just seen it this weekend. Yeah. Poor kids. But that, all now later on in life, as they start to get older, there'll be 10 kids in the circle and they might start to pair up. And they'll be playing one on one, two, three, and then eventually they'll be learning how to play group type of play with all ten kids who are engaged, and they'll learn patience or, you know, be, you have to wait a minute to talk and stuff like that. But I also think when that development starts to come around, now envy starts to come around too, you know, because the kids like, well, I want to talk. Well, you got to wait your turn. Uh, getting all envious of the other person who's talking, you can talk more articulate than they can. But then the the envy on the physical nature must be coming in too because now the kids are experiencing envy. So now you get into envy, little girl might be might be 11 years old and this little girl's going through her menstrual cycle at, at 10 years old. So this little girl's jealous because she's envious because she's 11 pushing 12 and she hasn't reached any area there. Or she's flat chested or, the, or the, you might be a boy and then you thought, well, I don't have any genitalia hair on, on down there, so now he's envious of the other people and all this penis type of envy. But if in your mind, if you have this side of um, disconnect where you think you're a girl, you're not going to have a penis envy. You're going to have, you're gonna a, have yeah, you're going to have a, like a big boob envy. Yeah, so boob you, envy. you're all confused within yourself. This is what I think is going to take place in them. I have no idea. I'm and just yeah, rambling. And going back to that. <laughs> And just real quick to go to his, his kids analogy. So the four, the, there was four kids all under the age of eight, right? I love my son, bro, I swear. So then my son comes, right? Cut my son, because I mean, he's the oldest though. He's the oldest. He's like 11 going on 12. And the four kids, one's playing with the truck, one's playing with Legos, one's playing with a piece of paper. And the other one looked like he's just playing with his, 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 his blankie. My son comes in, and it, but that's what it takes, the, uh, the older influence, because he came in, put them together, in like two seconds, they're playing hide and go seek and tag, you know, so well, they're old enough. Yeah, but you need that, uh, the, the, the older guidance to help that, and that's what I was saying, it's more hurtful, hurtful when you're talking about transgender people. Older guidance is because because necessarily good, older guidance means <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. I, I wasn't talking I, about I it. Think, I think it's more of a, a cultural thing. So I think when you, when you start to grow up, and you like kind of like using what they were saying, where certain boys in the playground were playing one thing, and you like, I don't want to, I don't, that's not, I don't, I don't feel like doing all that stuff. Right. I don't want to do that stuff. And then as you get older, it becomes more and more apparent. But then you see like the girls doing stuff, and you're like, look, that I want to, you know, be doing what they're doing. And it's kind of like where you find yourself in the culture. Then you start getting attracted, like you know, 12, 13, and younger these days. You start finding yourself attracted to people instead of being attracted to who all the boys are talking about. The cute girl is. You worried about who the cute boy is with the girls. So just speaking to my point, right? And this this is a problem with America and the world. We define uh, gender by by activities yeah. and, and, and attire. So seeing girls do quote unquote girls things does not make you feel make you a girl. Facts. Yeah, make you or, or seeing Facts. you seeing girls do girl things and want to do those activities does not make you a girl. Facts. It means you like those activities, right? You know, we just in America we associate activities with 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 being a woman, right? Or so and that and nothing could be further from the case. So so when I, I, I understand that, so somebody said, look. I was just always uh, uh, attracted to the things that the girls did, right? That Based makes sense. On what the yeah, no, period. Leave it there. But when you tell me I, I'm a woman in a man's body, how can you? How do you know that? 
How do you like, know? Like, there's no way to. Like, it's it's only going off of what society, society, society tells you, you right? Yeah. As a kid, that all so, right. You society know is not te- society is not telling you what a woman is. Society tells you what a woman does, not no, what a woman yeah. is. That's no, different. That's what two different things. You're going by what society, what the societal norms are. Because I'm trying to tell you, because as a kid, you're looking, you're saying, all right, them girls over there doing them girl things, them boys over there doing the boys things. I see they're not doing them together, and I see that they're keeping the boys over there. You know what I mean? You're like, all right, so at that point. You make that choice on what do I like to do? Do I like to do the girl things or do I like to do the boy things? Now, does that play into your, your sexual preference? I mean, you might, as a kid, you think about it. You yeah. might. You I might think, be confused. You I, might I, be I don't say like, like, like you're just thinking you're a boy who likes to play with Barbie dolls, but you're not, you, there's nothing wrong with you. What if you like to play with Barbie dolls, but you love women, having sex with women? You just like exactly. to play with dolls. That doesn't mean anything. It does. This is crazy. Society says something wrong with you. Right. It's just, it's just not intelligent people <laughs> making like associations, <laughs> right? With like things that just, it's that fear. don't have any clear, the, distinct connection. So this society is, still has a lot of growth. I think right. it's, I think it's society plays such a, a hand in it. Guys, my daughter, she's, she's almost 40 and she still want to go out and be a princess. Right. I mean, you know, my son, what he my son, he's married to a guy. I think he wants to be a princess too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Whoa. What's his fact? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. True. Wait, you have a gay son? Yeah, Deacon. I mean, you ain't never told us that. Word. I knew that. He told me that. Yeah, this whole time, you ain't never told us you had a gay son, man. Oh, yeah. Deacon, Deacon, Deacon was gay. And in his lifetime, when he was younger and stuff, Deacon he was a. He was a model. He was a. Uh, he sang at the tall shit. But see, he just all, he just see how he's but associating stuff to him? Like he sang right. at the. Yeah, that's, he, he, that's he, a total contradiction on what Mike's talking about. Well, because because he, he's saying that Deacon could <coughs> have been all that. Except, except but, Deacon ended up being gay. But <laughs> Deacon, <laughs> Deacon as, a, as, a young, as a young kid, he, he liked playing with dolls with the girls and stuff like that. He liked doing it. That, that, that's, that, I've always been like. So, like, I'm actually kind Larry, of. Larry, man. No, no, I'm not Larry. I'm kind of moving a little bit because. I believe that you are born with your sexuality, right? Yeah. Because look, 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 let me like finish up real quick. My fault, my fault. But right. then, and then my daughter, Nicole, Nicole punched you in the throat because that's what her father taught her. And she'll beat you down. Just. And she still wants to be a princess, though. <laughs> and she still wants to be a princess. She society both, yeah. says she wants to be a princess. But if you, you go over there and try to bother one of her brothers or oh, bother her or stuff, and she will hurt you. It's over, Where yeah. Deacon, Deacon ain't going to hurt you. He's going to probably try to talk to you. So, <laughs> like, yo, you see, we, we, the the way I see out. that face though, <laughs> that was offensive. <laughs> that, you understand what I'm saying? That's a whole phobia. That's like the, 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 the I, 60 I years. That, I, can that, I, can I can do that. I can do that. It's my son. I see if he can do that. I want to see if he can do that. But think it's cool. Think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. That's all his life. When we gonna be thinking, man? We ain't never, I ain't never know you had a gay son, bro. Man, that's crazy. Uh, he all right. So <laughs> that is deep. Yo, and that goes back to, uh, to, my, to my topic. Without a while ago, I was talking about the, the morning group. Like, you know, uh, what happened in that situation with the guys playing basketball with? Like, you know, and it's crazy because I'm like, that's my dude. I didn't know you, you know, that he went that way, but he don't feel comfortable in his own skin. Or you feel me? He's playing politics because he, you know, that society is saying that you're supposed to be this way, you're supposed to do it that way. He's doing it a whole different way, and I can dig that. But to me, as a friend, it seems like you know, like you're not really comfortable. Yeah, that society talk. Cause like my son, perfectly comfortable with me telling, just like I'm talking right now on the air. He don't care. He's perfectly comfortable being who he is. Mm-hmm. And then kudos to My you daughter is too. We just had a we just had, I just had a friend that mm-hmm. like like twenty year friend come out uh, and 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 uh, I'm happy for him, congratulations. This guy is uh has a reputation for, for beating up a lot of dudes and sleeping with a lot of women. And and when he came out, my circle uh was just was thrown like they I mean they held it down. We like love is love, but like they was they lost their mind. And, and 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 if if that individual who came out wasn't secure enough in himself or hadn't come to the point and said I don't care, like that, it's not safe. Like I I I I I, I debate with black, black <laughs> certain black men all the time on Facebook, and they swear it's cool to be gay. No, and it is very much is not. 
Like it's it's not what it used to be. Like it's not it's like they not going around uh like tying people to the fences as much as they used to. Uh, they still doing it, but <laughs> as much as they used to. The right. Uh but but it's very They're much still, still doing that to black people too. Still, still yeah. doing that to black people. I mean they always gonna do that to black people. That's that's a different time. Very <laughs> but very much not safe for 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 uh uh for, to come out and especially a black man to come out. And, and say he's gay. And we need to do better and stop lying. Talking about it, it, it's cool to be gay now. That's just people saying crazy you, stuff. You keep, you keep saying, especially a black man, because you're putting a societal norm on black on people. Black people. Yeah, I can only speak to your culture that I live but, in. And yeah. I, I, I've been in, well, I've been, yeah, I've been a black man for 39 years, and, and from, black men are But you said you said black people. You said black people was. You said but black people. That's a different story. But you use black people for your no, defense. No, no, of no, me. no, 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 no. Because uh, the reason, the reason why, the, the reason why. I, I, I stipulated black is from one my own personal experience. I can speak the most about a black okay. man because I've been here thirty nine years as a black man, and I've been I know a lot so of black men. Black men are more macho and more manly than white men. Black men have more invested in hyper masculinity than white men. As black men here, you are at, from day one you are devalued, dehumanized. The only thing that they have, and there's studies done on, on, on this, uh, that uh, the only thing that black men feel like they have is their dignity and their, and their, and their bravado, their penis. Uh, which we're, we're hypersexualized from day one. We were sexual commodities, and then we uh, and, and we could beat you up, and we get really angry and physical. Right. And that that is a, well, that is a real thing. I'm not making that up. Balls. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's more than that too. They were, my balls. They were they, like, like um, the guy right here, uh, Major Taylor. He was saw that he was the same or put on the same category as a racehorse. Wow. For for betting. Oh, you and, said, wow. Well, let me finish that. For for betting and stuff like that, people would bet on the on the bike races, and he was he was categorized among those people as the same as as Thunderbolt, the great racehorse, or something no like that. Way. There, you know, because you know, that, that, that's, that's that masculinity that's, type right. of thing. That's, that's all we got is this, right? Like, but the uh, the the reason why I I I, I made the stipulation or, or the the. The reason why I, I focus on, on, on the black is because of uh, Will's uh, comment. I'm not sure where, where what the attention was, but the way I received it was it was reminded me. It reminded me of the very same black men that I, that, is, that that are saying it's cool to be uh, cool to be gay. This notion that black people have a monopoly on oppression, and that if you can't like if 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 you're talking about any other oppressed group, it immediately has to be paralleled and, and juxtaposed against the black uh, against the black plight. And it, like, like there's like, only, like, like there's like there's only one room for one oppression in this world. And if you ain't talking about black people, you ain't got no business about talking about nobody else's oppression. Never mind that there's black queer people and there's black trans people, right? Like 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 there's not black people that just doesn't apply to black people. So yeah, I, I felt the need to make sure that uh, I, I I address that. And I, and that's what I'm saying. So to the extreme, on the extreme note, yes, he's true. When you talk about uh, homophobia and black males, yo, come on now. You have homo thugs. You have, uh, I, I, I lie to you not, men, you know, down in, in, who, who are hiding their gayness and going home to their wives. And you understand that? That's mm -hmm. real in the black community. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I, Thank that's you for saying so that. Real, because you know, hate that. Think mm -hmm. about it. It's in the black male community. It's, it's like an extreme that mm -hmm. if you're gay, not to, not to be a black man and, and be, be known gay. Because... It, it, you already know. Right. Now, to be, like, say, like, white or gay, yes, it's, it's accepted. Am I not right? It's more accepted. It's, it's way more, more accepted. A lot more accepted, yes. <laughs> Come on. Now. A lot more so accepted. I understand where this plight is, but then again, it's like, I can't, you can't compartmentalize transgender people and gay people to uh, their color of their skin because they're all being oppressed. Well, and uh, we all need to tear, um, tear them all down and, you know, start seeing people as people. I, I just want to say quickly, though, that uh, I, I think I know who you're talking about because someone sent me pictures. <laughs> it was like, yo, do you see these pictures? And I remember I looked at them and I was like, so, and I was like, wait a minute. And then I thought about it. I said, oh, it makes sense. But then I was like, you know, after that, I was like, well, you know, so, so what? what? It's, yeah, this is a, so, and, and if that was, but if that was me 10, 15 years ago, it would have been a lot. I would have been sharing pictures. I would have been asked, like, oh, dude, you, you know this dude? Because someone I know for years, too. So I, I just, I, I do think there is still a huge problem, but I don't want to, uh, Miss, I don't want to be ignorant to the fact that it still come, it still come a long way. That's absolutely, all. absolutely. It, the even, the even crazy thing about that, that person who I'm talking about who came out, I, I, I love him, uh, but that person, fifteen, ninety-seven, maybe like almost twenty years ago, mm -hmm. we had one of a, a brave friend uh, from the block, like 20, thirty-five was on the block. He came out. And we pushed him back in the closet. 
It's like, yo, what you talk, what you say? You can't be over here no more. We mm-hmm. shunned him. Well, I don't know. I, I heard he was here had some mental problems. Too. I, listen, the mental problems is the exclusion. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. this person was you're fine. Right, you're right. You're the right. person was fine with him. Like, I mean, he was being messed with. Like, he was, he was, he was. The, the history says that he was being abused, uh, sexually abused. So was a lot of us. Now, but but it was a, it was a bunch of us in that yeah, that's being sexually abused, myself included, right? Uh, it, but that being said, he he uh, when he came out that he, that he was that they. That he was gay, that was not accepted. And one of the biggest people that ran him off the block is the person who came off. Yeah, right? yeah. and, and one of the main ones that ran him, ran him off the block, and that's what I'm talking about. This like, like the, we act with we, amongst black men, we like to act like like this mm-hmm. homophobia is not. It, it doesn't. It doesn't exist differently in the black community. We actually even categorize that as white people stuff. Like like coming mm-hmm. up with that homosexuality, we're like yo, that's that white people stuff. Mm-hmm. We don't do that, right? And we shun yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah. Now, yeah. so you yeah. know. Yeah. I don't, know, I, I don't know about that. I know one thing that you said, and I think that when you you said the black men are more more this than anything. I, well, it's time for the to, to put more on everything else too. Might as yes, well sir. just take it all yes, over sir. to be more more ac- uh, academic, more intellectualized, more any, anything more, you want. More, more, be more of anything. More, more loving. More, more loving. loving. Yes. Yeah. What, all whatever we need, need, need to redefine what masculinity is. Yeah. It's so, not I can beat you up. I got the most money, nah. or I can make the best love. Yeah. I mean, be the. You can be the best uh, physicist. You can be the best anything you want to be. You can be the best drug dealer if you want to be the best. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But you I mean, a lot of if, you, if you're going, if you're going to hype it up, hype it all the way up. Yes, sir. Shout out to the line. Good show, y'all. Yeah, yeah. great show. Uh, shout out to uh, Nate. Mike Darlene, uh, Nate Peter Dope. Uh, great show, fellas. I'm gonna shout out to my lovely Brad Lava, and I shout out to my two scientists, Mason and Max, and all special ops. Yeah. Who are,